your girl Lisa here and this is episode two on my YouTube channel for Lee Marie Photography talking about all things boudoir and today I wanted to talk about facial expressions. So those are primarily the two things that I coach my clients on during a session are facial expressions and posing. So I wanted to talk about kind of four things that kind of go along with your facial expressions and how to kind of enhance them during your session so that when you get your photos back you're not looking at them going why does it look like I have resting bitch face in every single one of these pictures or I look constipated? I get that a lot. That's kind of crazy. Um, why am I super smiley? Um, how do I look sexy? So we're going to talk about four things, your hands, your eyes, your lips, and your hair. And this is how I kind of set up helping to coach you during your session. But I think practice makes perfect. If I was investing in a boudoir photo shoot, I would want to make sure that I practice beforehand poses and facial expressions before I got to my shoot. Now, obviously, um, how I look and my lingerie and the outfits that I pick out are super important too, but your facial expression, your eye contact with the camera is crucial. It will make or break your photos. So let's talk about hands. So your hands can do all sorts of things to kind of enhance your um, facial expressions and to add to that sexiness, that give you that sex factor, that it factor in your photos, okay? So your hands, you can do a lot of things. You can put them in your hair, find sexy ways to put them in your hair. I mostly will tell you guys to kind of grab your hair at the crown and push back and we'll do chin up, we'll do chin in, over to the side. I'll also have you take your hand, place it on the nap of your neck and kind of when we're doing poses on the bed, you'll have it here. Other things, fingers, fingertips. Okay, so I will sometimes have you take your finger, pull your lip down or drag it down, drag your fingertip down to your chin, have your chin up. I'll have you bite on your nails, do something really cute. I've had clients kind of do this thing, which is the biting of the nail, really cute. I'll add some photos so you guys can see that as well. Also doing the like I've got a secret, I've clients wear masks and do the secret with their finger. Lots of cute ways to get different facial expressions by using your hands on your face. Okay, boop, boop, I totally just vogued you guys. Okay, so hands. Uh, hair, hands, hair. So hair, your hair, definitely when we get started, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be in those beautiful beachy waves, or maybe you want it all straight. However you want it, it'll be perfect. As we get to moving towards closer towards the end, we're going to do some messy hair pictures, that bed head, right? And so your hair, your hands are going to be in your hair. Your hair might be like all in your face, but super sexy. Okay. So think about your hair. What are some ways you'd want to like kind of play with your hair in your photos to give you a different facial expression? Your eyes. So to quote my girl, Tyra Banks, smizing with your eyes, which is smiling with your eyes is so important. Learn how to do that before you come to your session. Okay. So it's basically... Kind of lifting the eyes up you don't have to have a huge toothy grin you can smile with the eyes okay it's kind of giving you that come hither stare that sexy look okay you can also do the raised eyebrow which that's kind of my come hither um so kind of smizing with the eyes. Think about what other looks do you have with your eyes. The other thing is I will tell my clients to um close your eyes and look down. You'll see me say that a lot or smell your shoulder which doesn't necessarily mean bring your shoulder all the way up to you. I just want you to turn and kind of lean into your shoulder a little bit. And you'll give me looks like that. So think about eye contact that you want to make. I might have you look down. I might have you look out. So getting all of that lash fullness, those eyes, all of that beautifulness. Okay. So think about eye contact, how you want to make your eyes look, how you want to um, convey that sexiness, that sex appeal with your eyes, that goddess bringing all that out.
And the last one is lips. Did we do lips? Hand, hair, eyes, lips. Okay, last one is lips. So that's kind of where I'm gonna have you like think about either having the finger in the lip, pulling the lip down, biting on your thumbnail somehow. Um, also making a little bit of a pout. It doesn't have to be duck lips. It could be really sultry. It might be a smirk. It might be a laughing smile. Guys, your significant others love you happy. Happy wife, happy life, right? So if I say give me a big toothy grin, just know that your husbands, your significant others, fiancés, boyfriends, whatever, they're going to love that as well, okay? So hair, hands, eyes, and lips. Think about those, how you can use those to help with your facial expressions, to help really add that badass kind of goddess feel to this part, right? Because this is also going to be a huge part of your photos, along with your lingerie, along with your body, along with all of that sexy goodness. Want to make sure that we get the facial expressions down and that you love your photos. Okay, so helpful tips for facial expressions. I'm also going to put some uh, photos in this as well so you guys can see some examples of some of my models and uh, some ways that they convey like um, even using I will sometimes have my clients do the um, the vowels, say A, E, I, O, U, and how that makes your lips and how that makes you um, breathe out and relax that lower jaw. So lots of different things that you can try. I'll, I always say breathe out, which just is giving you that. Lots of different ways to convey that sexiness through the lips, through the eyes, through your facial expressions, because believe me, that part is going to be so crucial to your photos. All right, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you soon.